Hello, brave one. Today, we will continue unit number nine, adventure, part number two. Okay, let's start with our grammar. Today, we will talk about reflexive pronoun. What does it mean, reflexive pronoun? We use reflexive pronoun when the subject and the object are the same. Ah, when we want to stress, when we want to focus that the subject is the doer of the action. When we want that the subject, the subject is what is the doer of the action. Like they are really enjoying, enjoying what themselves. Just Tamer heard what Tamer heard himself. Okay? If we use reflexive pronoun, when the subject and the object sentence are the same and stresses that the action happened or the action or the doer of the action is the subject. Okay? Okay. As we know that the reflexive pronoun, we took it before, I myself, he himself, she herself, uh, they themselves, we ourselves, it itself. Okay? Okay. We, uh, we enjoyed ourselves. Top Sammy came to and dried what a uh, Sammy is a man, is a boy, he by himself and dried himself with a towel. I made, yes, I made it by myself. Number four, Maya taught a eh, taught Maya taught herself because it's a girl. Would you like to make yourself a cup of tea? But so the reflexive pronoun, we use it. When the subject and the object of the sentence are the same. Okay? Look at these answers and start to write it in your book. Now, let's look at this page. Okay? Page number, lesson four, page number 28. Uh, around the world in 80 days. Uh, talks about a. Uh, Around the world in 80 days by Jules Verne. In 1872, the writer Jules Verne read a newspaper article about a new railway line across India. It gave him a great idea, a book. He wrote a story about a British man called it Phyllis Fogg. He took a challenge to travel around the world in just 80 days. Okay, this sounds easy today. But at this time, there were no cars or planes. Uh, 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 as you know, that we took this story in our, in our high level, okay, in the first term, okay? Let's see. Look, number two. We'll look at Phil's fog plan and answer the question. London to South Egypt, train trip seven days, service to India, Vadikeda trip in 30 days, and India to Hong Kong, train and ship, 60 days, 16 days, sorry, uh, Hong Kong to Japan, fill ship, 6 days, Japan to USA, ship, 22 days, across the USA, train, 7 days, USA to London, 9 days, leave on the 2nd of October, return in 21st of 21 of September, 21st of September, okay? When Phil's Fog Okay, so this is Now look at this part Fog Fog took the challenge to travel around the world in 80 days. What does this tell about the characters? When Phyllis Fogg, when Phil Fogg takes the ship back to London from the USA, there was a big storm, see, and, and he arrives in London one day on 22nd of December, but he made a mistake because he traveled east around the world it one day earlier than thought, so he completes his challenge on time, okay? Now... Let's look at this email. Uh, don't forget the form of the email. Okay. Yes, uh, from a person you to person you sent to. Subject about topic your visit. Dear Karim, I am really excited that you are going to come and 
and stay with us next week. I'm looking forward to seeing you again. What time is your train going to arrive? We can meet you at station. Our new home is by the beach. We, go, we can go swimming and every day there are lots of other things to do. How about, how about going when serving or diving? On Thursday, Granddad is going to visit us. Let's make him a special present. Special present. What don't you, uh, why, uh, why don't you, we find photos of ourselves and our other cousins? We can make him a photo album. See you soon on Saturday from Meher. Okay? Now? Prep one. We have finished. Unit 11, uh, unit 9, part 2. See you soon. Study it so hard.